Hello, welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Jason DeFossi from Trenton, Ontario. What we're going to do here in this next evolution is a best practice for gaining access underneath the hood for either our low voltage disconnect or accessing our first responder cut loop. We're going to have the team come in and show you how to do that right now. So what we're having here now is we're having the spreader man engage in a center hood deflection. What this does is it in one move accesses both hinges. Cutter man's coming in addressing the other hinge. You'll notice that they're working from safe angles, not in front of the vehicle. From this position here, our rest droppers are going to hyperextend that hood and then they're going to rotate it around, giving us access to both our low voltage battery and or our first responder cut loop. In this next scenario, we're facing a, a vehicle here where a rapid extrication is required. We have three operators to perform this task. We're going to completely remove this door in its entirety to gain access to our patient. And it looks like this. Cutter man, combis, in. Cutter, get it. Just wait, just wait for it, Kirby, wait for it. So right now the car man is taking that exposed top hinge, working the door away. Good. Let it eat. Cutter. Coming back over here. Cutter. Cutter. Working our way down to the latch. Looking good. Dropping vertically back in, spreading. Cutter man back in. And in this thing, we're having problems with the rear latch. We're addressing that now with proper door management. Cutter man, lower hinge, please. Bottom hinge, sir, and wiring harness. Thank you, brother. Get it? Of course, we're being mindful of tip placement so as not to tip load our cutters, working at safe angles. And you can see, in a well-timed rescue effort, we were able to breach, gain access to our patient in rapid fashion. And thanks for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.